Welcome to the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, where rude mechanicals do magic. Hello, I'm Bronze Age, Director of the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, and today we're going to be talking about drilling holes in glass. Fairly often, a customer finds a nice vase or a nice bottle. They go well with their decor, and they bring it in and want to know, can I make it into a lamp? And of course, I can. But glass presents an unusual problem, because usually we'll have to drill a hole in it for the wire to get out. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, when it comes to tools for drilling glass, the options are kind of limited. They do have this style with this spade, it's a carbide bit on there, and if you're going to use that, you might as well just go ahead and break the bottle because uh, it's faster. What I use are these bits called core bits, and they're impregnated with diamonds around the ridge here, and they will give very satisfactory results. But there's a couple of techniques that you have to uh, follow, and if you do, you'll get good results. Now the first thing you have to do is find some way to hold the bottle still so it doesn't move while you're drilling. I always make a cradle, something like this, very simple, scrap wood. I've got it screwed together here on the ends, but you can use nails just as well. And the bottle simply sits in it. Now, a little extra is you can use this uh, rubber padding. It's sold uh, to uh, go underneath tablecloths and mats and stuff so it doesn't slide around on the tabletop. But uh, I have a lot of this carpet padding, and uh, I always use that. And once that's down in there like that, it's pretty stable. It's not going to slip or slide around, and you can drill without a risk of uh, breaking the bottle when the, uh, the bottle moves. Never a good thing. Now, I prefer to use the Packard Precision 12-speed drill press. A lot of advantages there. 12 speeds allows me to choose the proper speed for this size bit when cutting in glass. Plus, I can uh, clamp it down to the drill press table because I'm going to need both hands to operate the drill press and I don't want to have to be holding down the bottle at the same time. Now a diamond core bit is just a piece of pipe with little particles of uh, diamond chips glued to it. Um, and the glue is the weak point. In order for this to stay alive for more than about two or three seconds, it's got to be kept cool, and that means kept wet. Now, I like to use just regular modeling clay, make a little dam around it, and fill that with water. And that will keep everything nice and cool while I'm drilling. Now I've looked up the manufacturer's recommendation and they say 800 RPM for a half inch bit. So I've got the uh, drill press adjusted to that and I'm ready to start drilling. Now the up and down motion I had there as I was drilling is critical because what that does is it lets water flow down into the hole and washes out the glass particles and keeps the uh, bit uh, cool and keeps it cutting. Now I realize not everybody's going to have a Packard 12 speed precision drill press, but everybody should have a cordless drill. This is a DeWalt three speed, and I just checked it. Speed number two is uh, about 1,000 RPM at full trigger pull. So I should be able to keep it under control somewhere around 800 as I'm drilling. It does take a special technique. I start off with my little clay dam. I'm gonna get it mashed down nice and tight so the water doesn't run out 
halfway through. And the trick is, I can't come straight in with the drill. All it's going to do is just skitter all around. It'd be almost impossible to try and get a straight cut. And possibly break the bottle as well. What I do, I come in at an angle. And I cut a little crescent into the glass. And that gives the drill bit a place to rest as I roll it up straight up. Keeping it going at a good steady speed the whole time. Coming up a little bit at a time to let water flow down into the uh, hole. And uh, just keep going, being careful so that when I break through the glass on the side, I don't punch my drill through the bottle. That would be bad. And there we go. Well, this is Bronze Age for the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage. And I thank you for sitting through this video on, about drilling holes in glass bottles. If you found it interesting or informative, uh, please click the like button. Subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And uh, we'll be back next week with another video. Again, thank you very much.